Okay, hello guys. I've uh, just another episode of my cooking adventures. Um, just to set the scene, uh, a few days ago, um, uh, I was talking in what you know how like there's Facebook chat groups and stuff. Well, WhatsApp chat groups. Like um, a few of my friends were in a chat group together, and we were talking about some stuff, and something came up, and um, uh, I think one of my friends posted a picture that said, "That's the way the cookie crumbles." And then one of my friends was like, um, oh, I now I want some cookies or something like that. And I was like, oh, I feel like apple crumble. Because <laughs> it's one of my favourite things to eat as well. And then um, my friend Lee Kwan said, um, why don't you try making it? And, I, and then when she put that idea in my head, I was thinking, why not? Why not? Because I haven't cooked anything for a little while. Um, and I thought, you know, in my head I'm like, challenge accepted. Uh, so this weekend, I, um, I like yesterday I went to the supermarket and bought all the ingredients. I, I looked up the recipe online. Um, so I, I'll, I might post a link to the recipe in the info box and um, yeah I searched around for a recipe that I wanted because a, a few recipes didn't have the base but I wanted the base I wanted like a complete thing like not just inside a bowl because like a simple way to do it is just like to have the apple and then a crumb roll on top and inside bowls which is good but I wanted to like something you know the base as well I just like it and so I, I did that and I uh, this morning I um it was fun. I had a really nice morning. Like, um, I was just like got all the ingredients out because there was three steps to it. There was making the inside part, the apple filling. There was making the base and also making the crumble on top. And they're all kind of like separate, but they're all happening at once, which is kind of like um, Lord of the Rings. You know how there's a few different storylines all happening at once. There's Aragorn and Legolas and Gimli. There's Merry and Pippin and there's Frodo and that. And they're all like going intertwining and so that's kind of like a little bit like what I was doing with the apple crumble but much simplified and not even very much similar at all but I'd like to think of it just like that so I had to do all these three things happening at once and, and they, they converged the end for one epic conclusion which is the baking process I better hurry up because there's a little bit of ice cream here and it's gonna melt if I take too long but anyways so I spent the morning making it just following the steps and for the first time, this recipe, it didn't tell me every single thing I had to do, so I had to kind of like, kind of, for once I actually kind of like, read between the lines about what's happening, because they said, um, boil the apples in, like, put the apples in, like, a pot, a pot and submerge it in water and then boil it and then simmer it, the apples, like the six Granny Smith apples, um, but they didn't mention anything about peeling or cutting or anything like that. And so in my head, I'm like, oh, well, obviously, I like apple crumble. So I love it when it's cut into cubes inside. I just really like it like that. Or, you know, yeah, I really love it when it's in cubes. So I cut it into cubes and then peeled it and everything. So I read between the lines for that. But I think that's all I read between the lines. But I was impressed with myself. Anyways, so I did every step. It was fun. And my um, sister bought my mum for her birthday. Um for Mother's Day, this big mixer thing, a new mixer, it's like, oh, so cool to use. It's really, really powerful. It's good. So I did that. But the best thing is, like, um, at the start, uh, when I started cooking, I put on some YouTube music. It was um, Mix of Legend. Like, it's just like, I think I thought it was music from computer games and stuff, but I don't know, it could be a mix of things, but it was really nice. But then, halfway through, I thought, I'm going to maybe finish off um, watching Disney Hunchback of Notre Dame, because... I started watching that a week or two ago after my friend Amanda Walters has been doing like a Disney marathon where she's been watching every single Disney cartoon from the start in chronological order that they were released and when she came across The Hunchback of Notre Dame, her and my friend Cameron were saying how good it was and in my head I was like, um, I'd like to check it out because I, I remember watching it but I'd like to watch it again and it was really, really good. It's fantastic. Just quickly, the bit where Quasimodo saves Esmeralda at the end. Sanctuary! That was awesome. Awesome hero work. And the other thing I liked was the very final scene where Quasimodo's hiding in the shadows and Esmeralda um, leans in and you get a shot of her holding her hand out to him and pulling him into the shot. I really like that scene a lot. It's awesome. And so after I finished watching that, I put on Brother Bear. And so the time it took me to make this, because I'm pretty slow and I just take my time and just do all the things... Uh, I finished watching half of Hunchback of Notre Dame and Brother Bear, so it took me a while, but you know, it didn't even matter, I was having such a good time, like it wasn't like one of those things where I oh, can't wait till this is over, I was really enjoying it, and the bit where you make the crumble, it was so much fun, <laughs> like all these ingredients and there's butter and you're just kind of like mixing it up and stuff like that, oh it was so much fun, and putting the crumble on top, putting the base in was alright, 
that was fun. Putting the... Yeah. Oh, better hurry up. <laughs> it's just like a time limit. Because I wanted to do a live testing of the thing. Okay. Before we... Okay. Well, let's just get to it before it melts. So I'll show you my apple crumble, which is half. Because it's cool. Because just as it was finished baking, um, my brother and his wife... Um, and their two kids, my niece and nephew, uh, Twee and Dong, came over and they had perfect timing because they came and I, they saw me take it out of the oven and they were really excited and everything. And um, so I cut it, I cut them a quarter of it so they can eat it later to take away. Whoa, hopefully it's not too hot. Here's my apple crumble, half of my apple crumble. Da, 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 da. I'm so proud of it. Can you see? Wait, it's better if I move the camera rather than move the cake or whatever you call this if it's not a cake. <sighs> Um, this is not the best uh, camera cinematography. Do you get the idea? <laughs> Can you see how good this? When I saw this come out of the oven, I was so happy. Look at that top. It smells good. I could smell the butter um, when I was baking. Okay. All right. So you get the idea from that. And my sister's cut me a slice and put some ice cream on it. Here it is, and I'm going to do a taste test right now, okay? So I'm just going to pretend this is like something I ordered from a restaurant and I'll see what I think of it. Hopefully it's good. This plate's actually quite hot. It's actually fairly hot. Mm. The top is fantastic. Mmm! It's good! You know what's really good about this? Oh, there's some sultanas in there. I put them in there. <laughs> yeah, my yeah, my mum gave me an idea of just putting some sultanas in it as well. It's delicious. Like you put it in your mouth, and then it's nice, and then it goes. <laughs> it the flavor comes like later on. It's like a delayed effect. It's awesome. This is a really good apple crumble, and I made it because of this recipe. So thanks to the recipe, but I made it with my own hands. Mm. Wow. This is really good. I'm glad it's good. Otherwise, it would have been awful <laughs> for this video. Mm. Ice cream's always good too. Mm. <sighs> okay, I'm going to switch off the video because I'm going to enjoy this without having the camera there, but one more bite. Mm. So I'm going to post the recipe in the info box. It's a great recipe. Well, I've never done any other recipe, but I like this recipe. Um, and I love my apple crumble, if that's anything to go by. Um, so that's it for the video. And I just wanted to add that I'm so glad, like last year or whatever it was, I started to learn how to cook because now I can do things like this, just like let's make apple crumble and then just kind of like follow the recipe and make it because before that I would have been really clueless of like where to start and stuff but it's good so I'm having a really good time alright see ya